everyone. I'm Tanya J. Peterson with the Anxiety to Anxiety blog on HealthyPlace.com. I've got a different way that you might want to use to think about anxiety and reduce it a little bit differently. We don't always think of anxiety this way, but anxiety has a yin and a yang to it. Everything about it when we really think about it, has two different aspects that kind of have this dance. So for example, on a yin aspect of anxiety, yin is a little bit more passive. It doesn't mean it's all nice and fuzzy. It's just, it's just there. It's more passive than the yang side. So on the one hand, anxiety kind of gets in there and affects how we feel. It affects us physically, it affects our emotions and it affects us mentally, our thoughts. So it's just in there and it's, it's bothering us. But on the active side, the yin side, or I'm sorry, the yang side, anxiety is aggressively sometimes getting at our actions and what we do and what we don't do and how we behave. And it's using that to really mess with our lives. But it comes together in a dance with our thoughts, emotions, feelings, and then behaviors on this side. So sometimes when we try to work on one of those, the yin side or the yang side, we just end up with this unbalanced, kind of agitated feeling. But if we work on them both together and try to decrease them as this unit, as this yin and yang, and slow down that dance, a lot of times we are more successful and reducing that anxiety. I've written about this in the blog post whose link is below. And I've looked at a different aspect of anxiety's yin and yang. So you can click on that and, and read how this works in another way as well. So think about it. Does this conceptualization of anxiety work for you? Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.